Hello and welcome to Edu Aspirants again. In the series of India that is Bharat, we are on the second chapter. The video is on national symbols. Let's begin the national symbols of India. You must remember that there are questions asked from all the chapters of India that we would be covering and I am sure you all will appear in most of the UPSC exams as and when you qualify or are eligible. So keep going through these videos and I am sure that you will be benefited. The national flag is a tricolor of three rectangular panels of equal width. The color of the top panel is India Saffron. In Hindi it is called Kesari and that of the bottom panel is India Green. The middle panel is white bearing at its center the design of Ashoka Chakra in navy blue. And this color navy blue with 24 spokes is seen on both sides of the flag. The ratio of the length to the height, that is the width of the flag, shall always be 3 is to 2. That means if the length of the flag is 3 inches, the height would be 2 inches. If it is 3 feet, the height would be 2 feet. If the flag's length is 6 feet, similarly, the flag's height would also be 4 feet. The design of the national flag was adopted by the Constituent Assembly of India on July 22, 1947. And the design that was accepted was made by, if you don't know, you will have to find out. Okay. His name is Venkaya and I'm not giving the full name here as yet. Find out so that you remember it for long. Provisions of the Flag Code of India 2002, there is no restriction on the display of the national flag by members of the general public, private organizations, educational institutions and anyone who is a citizen of this country. Except to the extent provided in the emblems and names Prevention of Improper Use Act 1950 and the Prevention of Insults to National Honor Act 1971 and any other law enacted on the subject from time to time. The state emblem of India is the second national symbol which is an adaptation of the lion capital of Ashoka at Sarnath Prayagraj that was Allahabad initially. The original has four lions mounted back to back on a circular abacus. In this figure you are unable to see the fourth lion which is behind the one which is seen in front. The fresco of the abacus. What is the fresco? This is the fresco of the abacus, has sculptures of an elephant, a galloping horse, a bull and a lion. It is in a high relief separated by intervening dharm chakras and the abacus rests on a bell shaped lotus. The profile of the lion capital showing three lions mounted on the abacus with a dharm chakra in the center, a bull on the right and a galloping horse on the left and outlines of dharm chakras on the extreme right and left was adopted by the 
country as the state emblem of India on January 26, 1950. Remember, the bell-shaped lotus was omitted from the state emblem and you will realize this when you see this embossed on the letterheads of public figures. The motto Satya Meva Jayate meaning truth alone triumphs written in Devanagari script below the profile of the lion capital is part of the state emblem of India. The state emblem is the official seal of the government of India and it is used by all public figures. The next national symbol is the national anthem of India. The Janganaman composed originally in Bangla by Shri Rajbindra Nath Tagore was adopted in its Hindi version by the Constituent Assembly as the national anthem of India which was on 24th January 1950. It was however first sung on December 27, 1911 at the Calcutta, now Kolkata, session of the Indian National Congress. The complete song consists of five stanzas. The first stanza contains the full version of the national anthem and the playing time of the full version that is the first stanza of the national anthem is approximately 52 seconds. The shorter version consisting of the first and last lines of the national anthem takes approximately 20 seconds. The national song Vande Matram composed in Sanskrit by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee has an equal status with Jan Garma. It was first sung at the 1896 session of the Indian National Congress and adopted as the national song of India on January 24, 1950. The English translation of the stanza was rendered by Shri Aurobindo. So these are the lines given by Bankim Chand Chatterjee. Bankim Chand Chatterjee also Chattopadhyay. It means the same in Bangla. The national calendar based on Saak era with Chaitra as its first month and a normal year of 365 days was adopted from March 22, 1957 along with the Gregorian calendar for the official purposes for publishing the Gazette of India, news broadcast in All India Radio, calendars issued by government, communications and address to the public. Gregorian calendar, you know, it is the calendar that we are following, the English calendar, where 1st January becomes the first day of the year. First Chaitra, however, in the Shak era calendar that we follow as the Hindi calendar or the Hindu calendar or the Indian calendar, which is also the national calendar falls on March 22 normally and on March 21 in a leap, leap year. So these are the corresponding dates and months with their names, corresponding Gregorian names, tropical zodiac where they exist at that time, Aries, Mesh in Hindi, Taurus, Rishabh, Gemini, Mithun and similarly all 12. Indian peacock Pavo Cristatus is the zoological name, is the national bird of India. Lotus Nilambo or Nilambium nucifera Garton is the national flower of India. Indian fig tree Ficus bengalensis is the national tree of India. It is also the banyan 
the magnificent Indian tiger, Panthera tigris, is the national animal of India. The Indian race, the Bengal tiger, is found throughout the country except in the northwestern region. The Ganges River dolphin, Platanista gangetica, is the national aquatic animal of India. Similarly, we have these state symbols which are the national symbols in this case. We have these symbols for almost all states and union territories of India. We will see them a little later. The symbol of Indian rupee is the India's international identity for money transactions and economic strength. The symbol is an amalgam of Devanagari Ra and the Roman capital R. It has two parallel horizontal stripes running at the top representing the national flag and also the equal to sign. This was adopted on 15 July 2010 and it was conceptualized and designed by Udaya Kumar, a postgraduate in design from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. With this, we come to the end of this video on national symbols. I hope you have enjoyed viewing and remember, there are questions from all videos in the competitive exams conducted by all the agencies.